Hey everybody, Navy.5184 here and welcome to another reaction video and today I'm actually going to be reacting to a lightsaber battle from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and I'm going to be reacting to the second battle between Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader. So the video that I got this on, it's a compilation of all the lightsaber battles throughout the Star Wars series and there are some parts that I think uh, they cut out due to uh, copyright reasons but I don't think it really affects much of it. Um, I'm sure this is probably a battle most of us have seen by now already. So probably no spoilers or anything like that. This is probably just going to be more analysis than me explaining what I got from this battle um, while watching it and even re-watching it. But uh, either which way, um, I thought the series was fantastic. Very well done. I loved everything they did with it. And it made me definitely want more. Uh, do I think they should do more? Probably not, but I love the fact that they made me want more. But either which way, we're going to go ahead and get started with this. I will leave a link to the original video in the description below. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Hmm. Now, I know at this part, uh, they didn't show in this video when he did his uh, pose. And boy, I'm sure everybody geeked out at that. That part right there I love so much. And I'll explain why in a minute. See, Vader was going one hand most of the time, but he realizes Ben ain't no pushover now. Okay, so the part earlier that I was just talking about how I loved it, the thing that I loved about it was how they are back to back to each other. And I loved how that was a callback to the last episode uh, where they were doing the flashback of Obi-Wan and Anakin training. And they had that point when they're, you know, at each other's back and everything. So I loved the callback they did with that, you know, and just how everything, you know, is still coming full circle with these two, you know, and the fact that they're so, you know, you know, really in terms of power evenly matched, but, you know, just, you know, there's so many other things that really kind of separate really on um, why obi-wan is technically probably more powerful than darth vader in a way but i mean in terms of like i guess you could say skill and actual like power um they're like equal but it's just obi-wan has these extra things that you know will surface later on that make him a better overall warrior um but just that little attention the fact that they're just back to back you know how is such a callback to that training session i love that part so much when they did that It's amazing what motivation can, can do for one. You know, because it's like when this series started, you know, it's like Obi-Wan Kenobi had like no motivation to fight. Now he's got all the motivation in the world and you can see the difference it made in him. Nice. Yeah, he's got the high ground now. You know, everybody was hoping that he was probably going to say it, but. Okay, so in the video, it skips from basically the part where after he got buried to like right to the part where um they go back at it. But I wanted to pause because um, I think that part where it shows Obi-Wan buried under the rocks. And then him coming out when he started thinking about Luke and Leia. That right there is what I was kind of talking about earlier. What makes Obi-Wan a better warrior. And it actually kind of goes, if any of y'all have seen the Cobra Kai series, there was a part where they're talking about um, Daniel, where it wasn't so much his skill and everything that made him a better fighter. It was his reason for fighting. Whereas, you know, like anybody who Daniel was fighting, you know, it was like they're fighting against him, whereas Daniel more times was fighting for someone in a way. It wasn't so much for himself. And that right here, I think, is perfectly illustrated between Obi-Wan and Vader. Because Vader, 
his main thing is he is fighting against Obi-Wan Kenobi, whereas Obi-Wan Kenobi isn't just fighting against Vader. He is fighting for Luke. He is fighting for Leia. And that is what really gives him his power is that his reasons for fighting are not a selfish reason and that's what gives him his power and that's what makes him you know the better warrior is because rather than just simply fighting against somebody he is fighting for somebody and that is the thing that i really loved about that little sequence that really kind of gave him his second win is because it wasn't like his oh i have to do this to get better it's like i have to do this to protect luke and leia and that's what gave him his boost and that is such a lovely thing to see with this now you're not done with them yet vader and there's obi-wan kenobi doing ankin's all behind the back move I love what they do that. Okay, I have to do a temporary pause because this is something I've seen so many people give the sequel trilogy so much crap for is when um, during some lightsaber battles, how they'll stop the blades uh, just using the force. But when done right and done with the right people, that is such a cool thing to see. I mean, like earlier in the series when Vader was fighting Reva and he was just basically toying with her and that's all he was doing. He was fighting her with the force. He didn't need a lightsaber. He just stopped, no, you know, and stopped the was like, what do you think you're gonna do with that? You know, so seeing them being able to do that, that is such a cool thing. And I thought that's such a unique thing, uh, with that. It's like why had nobody ever thought of doing that before? You know, it's Again, I don't know why people give that thing so much crap. I personally really enjoyed it, and I thought it made it look really cool there. My opinion, you know, and I'm not going to crap on anybody who doesn't think that that's a cool thing because, you know, different strokes for different folks. But my opinion is that is a very awesome visual. Now it's real. <laughs> uh, that music, that, that score that came when those rocks lifted... That lets you know Obi is back and better than ever. This is the Obi-Wan Kenobi that we all wanted to see. That we all needed to see. I mean, you can see the fire in his eyes too with it. Now this right here. I first saw that and I'm like, wow, why had nobody ever thought of doing that before? That is such a brilliant move to do. Go right for, you know, the breathing apparatus, you know, to weaken them up. But right there, you know, that just shows you just how much hate is in Vader is that he just doesn't care that he's practically done, but he still, he hates Obi-Wan Kenobi so much that he's not going to stop. Now this right here. As soon as I saw that, first thing I thought of was Rebels. Okay, so I forgot that they didn't show the dialogue afterwards. They only showed the battle on there. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the story that is told with that battle, you know, everything between, you know, Vader's hatred for Kenobi and um, Kenobi's love for Luke and Leia, you know, and, you know, just... That being the driving force between those and why, as I said before, the fact that Obi-Wan was fighting for Luke and Leia, that's why he won that battle. But I wanted to kind of go into the dialogue that happened after. I know, again, most of you who are watching this have probably already seen um, this battle, so you know exactly what's done, what's said and everything. But it's just like how when Obi-Wan Kenobi goes in with this resolve that, you know, that it ends and that he was going to kill him. But then he sees Anakin and that all goes out the window. And I love what they did with the lighting, with the lightsabers, how they're both shown in blue. And it's like, it's Obi-Wan talking to Anakin, not Vader. And the fact that Anakin, you know, first tells Obi-Wan that, you know, he's not Obi-Wan's failure. It kind of like gives Obi-Wan like that little bit ray of hope that maybe there's a way he can come back. But then he goes off and says, you know, 
you didn't kill Anakin Skywalker, I did. And then that smile that you see, that little half smile you see, and then you see the blue fade and the red rise. It's like, yeah, Anakin's gone at that point. And the fact that Obi-Wan leaves calling him Darth and not Anakin, it's like he's finally done that. And it's like, but he, it's like he still can't bring himself to kill him because this is a man he loved. You know, that was his brother. So, and he was seeing him for the first time since that fight, you know, and, you know, he probably just couldn't bring himself to kill him. You know, it's like, I know a lot of people are like, man, you know, he should have just off him there. But it's like, it probably wasn't really easy for him to handle. So, you know, I really appreciate what they did with that and all the emotion that came with that fight. Definitely one of the better lightsaber battles in the whole Star Wars saga. Not simply just due to the choreography or anything like that, but just because also of the story behind it, the story that was being told with it, you know, and it's just definitely one of my favorite lightsaber battles in the whole thing. And it was definitely a very worthy final uh, battle for that series. So um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. I hope you all enjoyed reliving that battle as much as I did, um, you know, Definitely be sure to check out some of my um, other Star Wars stuff that I got on the channel. And, uh, you know, if there's anything else Star Wars related you'd like to see me react to, definitely feel free to leave uh, links down in the comments. And uh, I'll catch you all down the road.